Hi everyone, it's Kay from Japan National Tourism Organization. Of the many experiences you can have in Japan, one that can sometimes be overlooked is finding a unique place to stay. As you would expect, there are fabulous hotels across the country, including the global brands that we know and love. But in this video series, I'd like to introduce some unique places you can stay in Japan to make your trip that much more memorable. If you're looking for a more immersive local experience when traveling in Japan, Minshuku might be a great option to consider. Similar to a Western style bed and breakfast, Minshuku offers an authentic and affordable way to experience a particular town or region while traveling in Japan. As a hyper local stay option, their specific charms vary, but all are marked by the intimacy of interacting with the local community and usually with the owners of the establishment. There are Minshuku in many types of destinations, including near popular resorts and cities. They are an especially great option when traveling to rural communities because you can stay with and among the locals there. A great example is Akita's Odate region, known for rural farms, where you could stay on or near a local farm. While there, you can participate in activities like tending rice fields, picking vegetables, harvesting apples, or perhaps even helping to clear snow. The cuisine available at a minshiku will be a more home-cooked style as well with a communal table and sometimes with you participating in the preparation and cooking yourself. In Odate, for example, you might make kiritanpopat, Akita's local winter delicacy, and huddle around the hot pot together to enjoy it with your house. So when researching, keep in mind that there are many unique local experiences that you can have staying at a minshiku. A good thing to keep in mind when considering minshiku is they will usually only have a small amount of rooms available and they will be minimally equipped. Think simple tatami mats and facilities like bathrooms being shared, not private. What they may lack in their amenities, they make up for it tenfold in authentic local experiences and cost value. Costs are generally very affordable relative to other accommodations such as hotels or ryokan and it's common when staying at one to interact directly with the owner. The best way to describe it is that you'll often feel as if you're staying in a real home with plenty of warm hospitality and a friendly local atmosphere. Choosing accommodation should always come back to the comforts and convenience of the traveler. But time and again, we hear from those that have visited Japan that punctuating their trip with a unique Japanese stay was one of the highlights. So I always recommend considering a unique place to stay when you travel to Japan. That's all for us this time, but be sure to hit like and subscribe for more helpful Japan travel tips.